of, of feeling taxed and, and pressed, um, I think one of, one of the questions is, how do you, as do we as the builder, how do we manage um, stress with, with trying to um, deal with the customer who's, who's dealing with their own life and personal issues and building a house? and kind of trying to marry that with us focused on building their house. Um, how do you find that going through that process and maybe some tips for the customer, how they yeah. can help go through that process? You know, it's a challenge, right? Because we're, you know, our job is to build you a house. Mm -hmm. And you're, you know, as a, as, a, as a client or the homeowner, you know, you have a whole life beyond building a house. You have, you have life happening. Mm -hmm. and you're building a house. We're just yeah. building your house. Um, of course, we all have our own personal lives as well, but the impact that this house process or this construction process has on your, on your, uh, you know, on your life is, is very impactful. And mm -hmm. so, you know, sometimes people are moving back from the area. And so they're, mm -hmm. you know, we've had couples that have, have, yeah. have relocated back to the area from California yeah. and other sure. parts of the country. Sure. That's a big move. Yeah. I mean, that can be a stressful time just if you're buying an existing house. Mm -hmm. But having to build on top of that and maybe stay in a red roof inn or an apartment or a short-term stay. Right. Right. So, you know, you've got apartment. And, and maybe you have little ones or pets. I mean, all of the scenarios. Yeah. Well, just, they were retired, but that certainly is yeah, an issue we, as well we because, you seen, know. Yeah. People with pets and kids and a hotel. And yeah. It sounds yeah. horrible. <laughs> I, it does sound. I need more coffee. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, we really recommend if you can, if you can stay in your existing house until, yes. you know, through the construction phase yeah. and until we have an eye on your certificate of, of completion uh, or certi certi excuse me, certificate of Sound occupancy, <laughs> sounded out, uh, until we have really have an eye on that, you know, maybe we're a month or we're two months out, you know, that's really when it's ideal then to sell your house, to, to put your house on right. the market and sell it. You know, then there's a little bit of overlap where sure. you can move over uh, to your new house and, and maybe you're, you're just closing, you're moving into the closing sale sure. time frame of your existing house. That's ideal. Right. Uh, a lot of times that can't happen or it's, it's less than smooth. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, people maybe uh, move into an apartment and have to stay there in the interim. You know, maybe they sell their house prematurely uh -huh. or... Um, you know, like I say, they've relocated, they sold their house and they're staying here in an apartment and uh, it's smaller than, you know, the house that we're building for them and they're dealing with this kind of, you know, claustrophobic environment. Yeah. Maybe they've got a few kids and it's a two bedroom apartment and so it's a smaller place, right? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, they're dealing with this stress mm -hmm. and, and, and so sometimes, yeah, that can, you know, sometimes that can uh, bubble over and they're taking their stress out on us a little bit. And, um, uh, and so I think, you know, the checklist, the timeline checklist that we have for customers is very helpful right. from that perspective. They can see what the anticipated, you know, completion date is. They've got something to look at. Um, but still, you know, dealing with, uh, you know, dealing with a project that has delays inevitably has delays. All construction projects do. Nothing's perfect. Nothing's That's perfect. Right. And, de you know, dealing with that, um, you know, is, uh, it, you know, can be, can be challenging. We do the best we can mm -hmm. to communicate. Um, we have checkpoints along the way, mm -hmm. uh, initiated site visits at certain, you know, high level checkpoints, uh, mm -hmm. to go over the blueprints, any changes, any issues, you know, on site, our construction manager does that on site with the customer. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, that's very helpful, I think, for people to be able to see an overview mm -hmm. and, um, um, but you know, you've got your life outside of the build and we're managing your build. Mm -hmm. And so uh, there's, uh, you know, there's that human interaction.